What's going on, folks? Fuck a title show. Before we get to the podcast, make sure you hit up patreon.com slash church of juvie. Exclusive videos, personalized thank yous, all that. Help me bring these videos and the channel to a next level. Patreon.com slash church of juvie. Let's get to it. I'm so happy, I'm so glad that I've got you. I'd like to thank you, and thank you means mercy. Messy, my little way of saying thanks. Messy for being you. All right, folks. Now, today we're going to be talking about Comic Con news. Uh, I believe there is still things going on today. Right now, it is 1:15 p.m. Eastern on Sunday. Uh, but we'll at least be talking about the things that have come up so far. Uh, and there's a lot. There's a lot. So let's get let's just get right to the all of it. First of all, Justice League trailer, get the fuck out of here. So good. It's just so good. JK Simmons as Commissioner Gordon, like we see him lighting the signal. One actually one thing that's really interesting is uh when Bruce is actually talking about Superman, that explains basically what happened to him in Dawn of Justice. You know, like Superman like makes other people see the good in them and makes them be better. You know what I mean? But like and like that's what happened to Bruce. Like he had given up. He had just he was like a bitter, angry, you know, vigilante. Like he just he didn't see the good anymore. And Superman fucking changed that. So I, th- I thought that was really interesting. Uh, Jason Momoa as Aquaman looks so badass. One thing though, um, the one scene in the trailer where Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Flash, and Cyborg are on the steps. Jason Momoa's trident is uh, upside down. I'm not sure uh, how like what that what's going on there, but uh, yeah, if you watch the trailer, like his. Uh, his trident is upside down there, but what, I don't know. What can you do? Um, uh, oh, so the villain in that movie is uh, actually like, um, oh, had a brain fart there for a second. My bad. Okay, so the villain is named Steppenwolf. Um, he's actually played by like the leader of the wildlings and everything from Game of Thrones, which is actually that. It's pretty sweet. Um, I think he looks really cool in this movie. Honestly, like at least in the trailer. Um really interesting nods. How they say like, you know, no protectors here, no lanterns. AKA green lantern. What? What? Man. And <clears throat> at the end of the trailer, a lot of people, I guess, are theorizing that that's Superman that Alfred's talking to when he's saying, like, you know, he told me you'd come, just like, I hope it's not too late. I think that's it. That Honestly, I'm leaning towards Green Lantern or Martian Manhunter. More likely, Green Lantern, considering he was included in the DC, like, banners for the Hall H panel. Um, and if you notice, like, in the logo and everything before that scene, they kind of have, like, the green light showing and whatever. Um... So yeah, I think that's actually Green Lantern, and I don't know, for me, it, it, Martian Manhunter is a bit of a stretch, because like, it, it, he says like, you know, he told me you'd come, I think that he's referring to something that Bruce had told him, like Alfred is referring to something that Bruce told him, um, and it would make sense that he would know more about like a, a Green Lantern type situation going on, because like, I don't know. Who knows, like if Martian, like where Martian Manhunter's been? If he's even like been in this uni- like this galaxy for a bit. Um, but who knows? I don't know. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um. Oh, Ben Affleck commented on the rumors for all you folks that have been hitting me up, saying, "Oh my God, he's not going to be Batman anymore." Yeah, he said, "I'm going to be Batman. I'm super excited to do this. I'm the luckiest guy like in this fucking universe right now." Because I get to be Batman inside of like such a great story and everything. So, take that, haters. Uh, we got the first Aquaman footage. 
Uh, apparently, it's been described as super badass. Uh, two fish, two fishermen are on a boat, uh, sitting in a lake kind of thing, and they think they get a bite, but then the camera goes overhead, and you just see this huge army of like underwater ships and everything. Um, and then we go underwater, and it's just fucking huge ships, pe- people riding sharks and everything. It, the camera goes to Aquaman. Aquaman says like. So, something along the lines like, I guess there's no chance you want to talk this out. He smiles and says, yeah, me neither. Apparently, Jason Momoa may have slipped a bit, but he said that army that we see in the ocean or like in, under the water is Ocean Masters. Aquaman's brother. Oh my goodness. So exciting. Um, the Flash movie. Uh, actually, which is kind of cool because I actually I talked about this a l- little recently. Um, it is going to be titled Flashpoint, and it'll be based off the Flashpoint Paradox storyline. Uh, that's where things are a little backwards, and instead of Bruce's parents getting killed, Bruce actually got shot in the alleyway. Thomas Wayne becomes Batman, but he, he like he's just super fucking badass and he'll shoot your face off (laughs) and then um martha his mom uh became the joker from like insanity and everything so that'll be really cool especially because jeffrey dean morgan uh even tweeted saying like uh flat like flashpoint you say or whatever and like tagged lauren cohen maggie from walking dead uh because they played thomas and martha wayne in donna justice and he said that he would uh do a role as Thomas Wayne. So that's really fucking cool. Really cool. Um, let's go to the Marvel news. Uh, we got the Thor Ragnarok trailer. Honestly, for me, uh, Hulk was the best thing about this trailer. Honestly, um, a lot of it, I was kind of like, all right, yeah, like I kind of, I kind of got this from the first trailer. You know what I mean? Um, it sets up the story a little bit more. Uh, but for me, Hulk, Hulk was the shining moments of that, um, actually seeing or hearing and getting to see Hulk speak now, like that's amazing to me. I I love that. Um, I don't know, like the humor between Thor and Bruce is pretty good. Um, I do like that, but for me, nothing about like the biggest things, like I said, uh, well, pun intended, I guess. The biggest things about this trailer for me was Hulk. Uh, he had the best moments of it for me. Um, but it did look... It, it is pretty cool to see Thor have like all that lightning going through him. Um, other than that, I don't know. To be honest, not a... Uh, it, it didn't knock me out of my seat. You know what I mean? Like I didn't like... I wasn't leaning over my screen and being like, Oh my God, I need to see this. <laughs> Um, but I don't know. Everyone's different. Uh, we got some Black Panther footage as well. Um, apparently we'll see kind of, uh, a cool little se- or what was it? Hold on. I had the description here. Uh, there's a scene which opens in a club. A lawyer enters and Chala is tracking him with Lupita and Denai. Um, Denai actually plays Michonne on Walking Dead. Uh, Everett tries to stop Claw from coming in with so many people. Law then asks Everett, uh, asks if Everett brought the diamonds. He hands a briefcase over and Claw trades it for vibranium. Hmm. And then a fight scene ensues after. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> there's a there's a bit more. Apparently, this uh, this was a bit more in depth, but hopefully, we see that soon. Uh, apparently, it got a standing ovation, so that's pretty sweet. Um, Captain Marvel's costume was debuted. (laughs) Debuted. My bad. Uh, That movie also, it's going to be set in the 90s. Uh, So, if I'm not mistaken, we should see Nick Fury with two eyes. But who knows? I don't know. Um, What else do we have? Did we have come out? Oh, uh, Stranger Things. Uh, Okay, so I wasn't a big fan of the first one. Like, of the first season. I don't know. It just... For me, I think there was just too much buildup behind it. Um, <clears throat> but I watched the second season trailer, and that shit got me stoked for it. Like, seeing uh, that, you know, 
the way they brought Eleven into the trailer, uh, Will not know, like kind of like going in between reality and the upside down. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give the first season another shot. Uh, but the second season looks really, really fucking dope. I'm actually, I'm stoked for that. Uh, also, a Westworld trailer, which looked amazing. I can't wait. There's so many moments in there where I was just like, oh shit. That can't, is that happening? You know what I mean? Um, it'll be really cool. But, okay, I just, second season of Westworld, like, can we please see Samurai World? You know, it's already been kind of teased that there's been, mo there's more than one park, but like, you know, can we fucking, I don't know, I just, I want to see Samurai World, that's it, <laughs> that's it, um, yeah, I think that's it for Comic Con news for now. At least as far as I can remember. If anything else like comes up or you guys noticed, um, you can comment below, obviously, for sure. Da, 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 da. Sip my ice cap and then we'll get to these other show notes. Mm -hmm. Oh, good folks. Okay. So, I need to talk about the Patreon real quick. Uh, give me a second. Okay, so the Patreon. Uh, for the $5 subscribers, um, the Saturday short shorts that is up there, that that is all, that's just going to be Patreon exclusive. Um, that's never going to, like, that, that might appear on the YouTube at some point, um, but I'm just going to keep that as a Patreon exclusive for now. Um, there's also the Phantom of the Opera unboxing and kind of you know fact video i guess um but that's on the that's on the youtube as well but either way five dollars or more and you uh like that's kind of your thing on patreon uh to enjoy um i got another unboxing coming up of this joker figure uh that'll be on patreon um i don't know i might do that as another patreon exclusive um the last one for the Phantom of the Opera, I did as an early access one, uh, but I'm, I don't know. We'll see about that. I'm not too, too sure. Um, I know I, I know, I know I set the goal, uh, when I hit 10 patrons, then I'll release a new song, but I think I might just say fuck that and release a new one anyway. And I'll, I think what I'm going to do is actually, <clears throat> I'll release it on the Patreon. And then once I hit um, 10 patrons or something like that, I'll make it available on the YouTube. You, you, uh, excuse me, you know what I mean? Um, either way, I just, I want to, here's the thing. Things change once, if it's one person, if it's two people, wh whatever the amount. If somebody is willing to give you money that they've worked for or they earned somehow, there's now like it's not extra pressure but now it's one of those things like you have an obligation to those people you know what i'm saying like they are they're not paying for you to fucking slack off or half ass you know what i mean like it's one of those things like with the patreon um i want to make sure that people even if it's five dollars a month whatever it is like you guys are getting your money's worth i want to make sure you have content up there to watch as well um some of it will be patreon exclusive some of it will be early access, but <clears throat> you know, I'm not, um, I'm not, I didn't start this Patreon just to be like, Oh cool. Now I get money from this. It's, it's not that at all. It's that money's going to go towards, um, getting, you know, fucking getting stickers made, getting whatever, like, I don't know, fucking <clears throat> obviously right now I'm going to be, you know, like right now it's going to, I'm going to be doing all that and covering all that obviously um but any money from the patreon like that money is going to the channel that's not me um like that's not my personal fund you know what i'm saying um whether it's effects for the channel for like a new short film or whatever it is like 
That is called like that's patreon.com slash church of juvie. Like that little plug there. <laughs> slash church of juvie for a reason. Um you know, I know it's kind of weird because it's like church of juvie, but that's just that's kind of like what our thing's been for like basically since the beginning. Um so that's why I put it as that. But it's all it's cause like, you know, this shit is um it's not just for me. You know, I'm I like doing these short films and doing videos and whatever else, uh, for you hooligans out there. Um, yeah. And honestly, I don't know the feedback that I've gotten from a lot of, uh, videos or anything. It's, uh, it's awesome. You know what I mean? Jesus. Fuck. Um, and it, I don't know. It kind of shows me that like, maybe I'm doing something right. Like maybe I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? Um, but as far as like, you know, with the Patreon and shit, that's just, uh, that's an extra way to be able to like bring, uh, the videos and everything to another level. And it's not like, it's not so I can fucking, you know, make a couple bucks and then go blow it on like beers or some shit like that. I don't, I don't really drink anyway, but <laughs> you, you, you folks know what I'm saying. Um, I don't feel I need to drag this out any further, but yeah, I don't know. Which, I don't know, I'm hoping within the next week or so, I'm going to have some news uh, as far as stickers. Um, yeah. And basically, what I'm going to do is when I, with the stickers uh, later in the year with the shirts, uh, is all the pa- like patrons, anybody on Patreon, they're going to have like first crack at that. You know what I mean? Like, they're going to be able to order their shirts first and order their stickers first or whatever the case may be. Um, obviously it'd be different if it's like one of those things where it's like, you know, $10 a month, you get a shirt or stickers or whatever that might be in the future. Um, but yeah, Patreon people on the Patreon will get like first access to all that. But yeah, it's just, it comes down to fucking once somebody makes that extra effort for you, you need to make that extra effort for them. It's just, fuck, I don't know, I'm just fucking, I, okay, I sat back and I watched a few of these fucking YouTube channels that a lot of people talk about, they suck, okay, I'm just gonna fucking say it, I can't even try and be like, oh, well, you know, maybe they're just trying to do this or whatever, no, they suck, and a lot of them, it's just like, fuck, man, like, you just, they're just doing extra shit to get your money, because they know you'll do it, you know what I mean? It's fucking, ugh. I don't know. It's just, I don't understand. I, I don't understand how like the popular things are the ones that like you know you have this fucking platform and you don't use it for anything. You don't use it to, you know, spread a message. You don't use it to fucking you know spread positive things or whatever it is like help anybody like learn something new. I don't. I don't know. It just seems like it seems like we're in the like this weird phase where like douchebags and fucking drunken messes are like celebrated. You know what I mean? And it's just like, I don't know. We're in this weird like phase where like, um, for lack of a better term, it's kind of like trolls are celebrated. You know what I mean? Like th- these people, like a lot, some people won't even have like an actual, um, a fact based opinion about anything. They just talk shit. You know what I mean? They just, say neg they just say negative shit they just talk shit they like that's it and people are like yeah that's fucking awesome because you relate to it because like a lot of people do the same shit you can't fucking you don't know how to you don't know how to record a song you don't know how to actually take like good photos or fucking edit them up or do whatever it is you know what i mean fill in the blank so you like they turn around and talk shit about other people you know what i mean and it's like Oh, cool. Now there's a fucking somebody on YouTube that does that too. So I can just go to their channel and fucking feel right at home. You know what I mean? It's fucking, I don't know. I don't, I don't fucking get it. That's not the type of, uh, I don't know. It's not the type of shit that I like watching. Um, yeah, I don't know. I I don't like being around people that fucking complain all the time. So like a YouTube channel that fucking, um, doesn't have like any facts behind their opinions or behind the argument. They're just out there fucking, you know, shitting out the mouth. Like what the fuck? I, 
You, you have nothing for me. If anything, you're gonna fucking waste my time, and I'm gonna be up. I'm gonna be frustrated because I just fucking wasted that time on you. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. It's just fucking. I don't know. I see. I see a lot of people like uh, get into a certain position or whatever, and they just start using uh, the people that really help them build, and that pisses me off. You know what I mean? I don't know. Respect and loyalty are big things for me. Um, if somebody helped you build, you don't fucking keep them at the bottom. You know what I mean? You fucking, you bring them up with you as you go up as well. You know what I mean? It's just fucking, if they help you build, they help you climb. So it, you should fuck, you should help them too. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just old fashioned with how I look at like relationships and how you should treat people. Cause I don't know. I don't think my shit needs to be all over social media. So it's real. Um, but I do believe there should be some respect, you know, um, don't be up on other people's pages, obviously that kind of shit. Um, but even like, you know, treat people with respect. No, you, ha you have an opinion that's fucking negative or it's different from somebody else doesn't mean you need to be the person to fucking stand up and say anything because sometimes the people that do that end up looking like an idiot it's better to be perceived as a fool than to open your mouth and prove it you know what i mean i don't know i just i don't know i just it's this weird thing i think like a lot of people are like entertained by douchebags and then it's like celebrated because there's so many other people that fucking just go along with it, and I don't know, it, for me, it's not, it's not frustrating or draining, because I don't have to deal with it, but it's fucking, I don't understand it, it's confusing, um, and, like, I guess in a way I do, it's one of those things, like, like I said, somebody else might talk shit and like to troll somebody, so that's what they fucking, they feel right at home when they watch that shit, but if you're gonna have an opinion about anything, at least have some facts behind it, you know? I don't know. I'm going to get off that shit for now. Uh, what have we talked about? We talked about Patreon. Comic-Con. Hmm. Yeah. Treating people. Not being a fucking douchebag. <laughs> uh, you know what? Yeah, fuck it. Let's end it for now. I feel like there's quite a bit in here. Um, hmm. It's exciting times, folks, as far as, like, superhero movie goes, uh, comic book movies, Netflix stuff. Oh, fuck, I didn't even talk about that. Um, so I saw a trailer for uh, the new Will Smith movie coming on Netflix called Bright. Uh, I'm fucking, I'm so down for this movie. It's like... It's like if shit like like orcs, elves, you know, magic and all that was actually like in our world and they were just like, you know, they could be cops, they could be whatever. I don't know. It's just I'm not going I'm not going to be able to do it justice, so please just go check the trailer out. Um Will Smith Bright. It's going to be on Netflix in December. Uh, but I'm fuck I'm super down for this movie. It looks dope. So, yeah. Okay. Now we'll end it. Ah, uh, oh, damn it. No, we won't. I saw a trailer for Jigsaw. For the new, like, Saw movie coming out. Um, yeah, I don't know about this one, to be honest with you folks. Just as, like, even as I'm watching it, I was just like, I don't know. It just doesn't have that, like, I don't know. Remember, I was saying recently in the vlogs where... The director says it's Saw for 2017. Um, just, I don't know. For me, it just doesn't... It didn't have that feel. You know what I mean? Like, the Saw movies have this, like, a certain grittiness and a certain feel to it. Um, and I don't know. This, the trailer was lacking of that for me. Um, but I will hold out any, like, serious judgments until I see the movie. Uh, also, Bloomhouse. The people behind, if I'm not mistaken here... Uh, the Conjuring, uh, I believe they were behind Saw as well. I know James Wan uh, directed those. Let me see, because Bloomhouse is doing the Spawn remake with Todd McFarlane, and Todd McFarlane is actually in charge of it this time. Which, 
the last one they did with Michael Jai White and everything, he wasn't in charge of any of that shit. So, <clears throat> so I'm I'm stoked that he's in this. All right, let me. I'm gonna run down some of these movies for you. Tell me, Bloomhouse doesn't shit on everybody when it comes to horror movies. Okay, uh, we got okay. Lords of Salem. That was a little bit of a weird one. I still liked it though. Uh, okay, so we got dun, 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 Lords of Salem. Uh, we got Ouija. Area 51, that's actually not that bad. I saw that. Uh, Jezebel, didn't mind that. The Paranormal Activity movies, Insidious movies, uh, Happy Death Day, talked about that recently on the vlogs. Oh, The Town, The Dreaded Sundown, that's a good movie. I didn't even know that they did that. Uh, the Gallows. Fuck out of here, folks. They do some... Fu the Lazarus Effect, that was a good fucking movie. The Purge Anarchy, Sinister... Split, get out, fuck around. The visit, yo. If you haven't seen the visit yet, go fucking watch that. Oh my god. Either way, Bloomhouse, fucking, they know how to do horror movies. All right. So, they're doing Spawn. Todd McFarlane is actually directing it. He's in charge of it. If you are a fan of Spawn and you're not excited about this. We 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 can't be friends. We just we can't be friends. Cause I like I saw this and I was fucking stoked. Which shouts out to the homie uh, Mike Che. He sent me that on Twitter. Um, it's actually it's super dope. Uh, actually, a couple of people sent me this too. Um, but Mike sent it to me on Twitter. It's super dope that when people see like news about a Spawn movie and stuff, uh, you guys think of me and like. Make sure I see it too. Uh, I appreciate that a lot. Huge, huge Spawn fan. Um, so thank you. The homie. And Mike Che actually did uh, the beat for the vlogs and stuff. Uh, so that's exciting. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's it. I feel like there might be one more thing I'm forgetting. What trailers did we talk about? Okay. Spawn News. Stranger Things. Westworld. Justice League. Thor, Black Panther, Aquaman, uh, da, da 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 I think I got everything I wanted to talk about. I think so. Oh, fuck. Walking Dead, season eight. That trailer dropped. If you pause it quick in one scene of the trailer, when somebody is in a shipping container, I'm pretty sure that's Rick. I am pretty sure Rick is in that container. And I am going to make a prediction right now. His leg will get fucked up. Because I like his leg gets fucked up, I believe, by Negan. Before we get do the time jump and the old man uh <clears throat> old man Rick and long hair Negan. Um But I think he's gonna get his leg fucked up, and I think that he is going to lose his hand in this season. Why do I think that? Because the beginning of last season, Negan wanted Rick to cut off Carl's hand for that statue outside of the Savior's like headquarters. If you if you remember, they have like the forearm to the hand, like hanging around the statues and stuff. I think that's going to happen to Rick. I don't know. Might be a bold prediction, but I made it, and it's out there because I think that's what's gonna happen. Uh, oh, fucking, at one point we see Rosita throwing some cold eyes at Michonne. Some coldness from the girl, Rosita. Well, she's gonna die this season anyway. And why do I say that so confidently? Read the comics. I don't want to fucking spoil anything. Um, well, I guess I shouldn't even say this season. Because, uh, it all depends on how they kind of do the all-out war story um it'll be interesting oh man can we just see the whispers that's what i really want to see too uh i, I want to see how they do the whispers in the show i think they will honestly like the every the prosthetics and everything have gotten so much better as the show's gone on at least for me um so i think the whispers will be done super creepy um what else um oh 
in one scene, it looks like Shiva, the tiger, is surrounded by walkers. So that doesn't look too good for her. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, fuck. You know what? Fuck it. Anything else, I'll talk about it on tomorrow's vlog. This has been Fuck a Title Show. I've been your host, Juvie the Kid. God damn it. I hope y'all are having a great weekend, folks. I love Comic-Con. It's like fucking Christmas. <laughs> um, yeah, much love to you hooligans. Uh, everything you do, your support, comments, everything, it's just fucking, it all means the world to me. Um, Patreon.com slash Church Juvie. Go. $2 a month to get personalized thank yous across all platforms. And you just you get to help support the channel. $5 a month, you'll get early access and exclusive videos. God damn it, folks. <clears throat> all right. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Mucho love. Mwah, 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 for your beautiful fat chase. I'm out.